global professional services company, Accenture, taking a deep dive into artificial intelligence and its impact on the workforce. In its recent study, Accenture finding that while 67% of employees want AI skills, only 3% of executives are investing in AI training. Why the gap? Joining us, Accenture Chairman and CEO, Pierre Nanterre. Welcome, Pierre. Nice to see you. Good afternoon. In Paris, with a little bit of a delay there. So, in general, when we think of AI, is it a long-term threat or opportunity for jobs? I mean, I think it's a long-term opportunity, no doubt. Uh, our thesis at Accenture is that indeed jobs will be impacted by artificial intelligence in a meaningful way. Now, that being said, it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. So, it should give the uh, companies and the government the opportunity to reskill the people in a meaningful way. And as you know, at Accenture, uh, we have already reskilled 250,000 of our people over these last three years, investing $900 million. Pierre, when we do see the impact from AI, do you think it's going to overwhelm or underwhelm? There's been so much discussion about it. There's some uh, level of expectation already. Uh, the wave is about to come. Uh, what we've seen is more the... Uh, uh, is more the impact of the digital uh, technologies on the business to consumer business. Now we're starting a new wave uh, we're calling at Accenture Industry X.0 or the digital applied uh, to uh, manufacturing. And this is now the big wave where indeed artificial intelligence will play a big role. I'm thinking about the impact on the automotive industry. We all know what's going to happen with the connected cars and the autonomous car. But so I can talk as well about what's going to happen with the life science. No, I mean, healthcare obviously seen as a big opportunity. I'm just curious why you guys are finding that only 3% of executives are investing in AI training when it's going to be such a huge force. It is very disappointing, to be honest, uh, the, this result. Because what we see on one hand is the young people, the students, and the workers, they, they, they really want to be trained and to be skilled. They are not afraid by artificial intelligence. I, I find underwhelming that the executive and maybe the companies are not prepared to invest more in training and, and reskilling. But I, I hope this is something that they, they're going to start very soon because they have to. Pierre, if you look at the uh, various developed nation economies, which are, which are best prepared for this uh, wave that you say is coming and which are worst prepared? Uh, when, when you look at probably some countries are quite well prepared. All the countries are putting their act together in a different uh, way. Uh, when I'm visiting many countries around the world, all the government, they have a digital play and a digital strategy. No doubt, for instance, Germany, uh, is very well prepared. All the manufacturing industry is putting their act together in a meaningful way. Uh, France, as well, is making some good steps, but, but more to do. Uh, U.S. as well uh, is, is quite good, but at the size of the U.S., you need to invest more. Now, uh, it's about really the companies and the government, but really the companies to invest massively in their people.